So, the weather's been absolutely awful. It's freezing cold, there's ice all over the road, and I've been on two different diversions. So I've decided I'm gonna go camping. I'll see you in the morning. The perfect way to start the day. Good morning. So today I've woken up in one of the most prominent hills in Somerset, and that's Brent Knoll Hill. Over there you've got Webbington Hills, uh, behind here you've got the M5 motorway, over there's the sea, uh, Burnham on Sea I think is over that direction, then you've got Breen and Western Supermare in the back, and behind here should be Glastonbury Tor. So um, yeah, a perfect place to camp, there's the tent. Now uh, initially when I got here last night I thought I would poke it on one of these holes so when I woke up I could see the view for miles. But the breeze was so terrible and the rain was tipping down. I mean, it's only just stopped tipping down about half an hour ago, so you can see there's still rain all over the top of my tent. But uh, I'm going to explain a bit about what happened yesterday. So obviously I tried to get the bike started and what had happened is a contaminant had got in the fuel tank, so maybe some water or moisture or something, and uh, it wouldn't let me start the bike. So I had to take the tank off, drain the fuel, go to the garage, get more fuel, put the fuel in the tank, recharge the battery because I'd completely drained it, put that back in, fire it up a couple of times and then it pumped it all out. So now the bike's working, we're back on tour and I'm going to start today by cooking a nice healthy meal from one of my bottles. So we've got gas in there, and then we got a meal in a bottle, got my fruit, and uh, where is it? Cooking pots and pans, tin foil. And how could we forget my green bag? So I'm just going to apologise in advance for the wind noise because it's incredibly breezy up here. And I'm just going to show you my meal in a bottle. Today I've got peas, sprouts, carrots, baby corn and chicken with some broccoli. And uh, all I'm going to do is throw that in a pot of boiling water and then I'm going to get my gravy out. That's a point. Where's the gravy? No, don't say I forgot the gravy, that's the best bit. Okay, so I found my Tic Tac box full of gravy, got my water, let's get cooking. So obviously this tin foil is used to make a windshield and as you can see here when I put the pot in that's going to do a perfect job of trapping all the heat and you just fold it round and that's going to work far more effective than any windshield you can buy from the shop so tin foil lighter more effective a million uses don't need to carry a windshield. Kill any germs in there, let that steam off. Okay, so now we just take our knife, plummage it through the bottle, we're going to empty the contents into the pan. water. Perfect. So realistically this is only going to take about five minutes to cook. You can see it's already steaming in there. It's going to be a lovely plate of food when it's finished. And in the meantime I thought I'd show you what's behind this hill here. So let's take a walk upstairs. So there you have it. One of the most prominent views in Somerset. You've got the motorway. You've got the sea and the estuary. You've got Webbington and the Mendip Hills. You've also got in the background, far over there, Glastonbury Tor. So 
So this really is one of the most unique places you can camp. And I chose a very tactical place just in this cove because obviously it reduces the wind. You've got a rain deflector on this side. I think I chose the best spot. Now, obviously I'm gonna to need to strain my vegetables to get the water out, and we can make a strainer using tin foil. So, grab a layer of that. And it's as simple as that. Poke a few holes in, get your bowl, put it somewhere nice, and then pour in your vegetables. Now my favorite part, the gravy. Okay, so I've just turned off the heat. As you can see, we've got a nice thick layer of gravy in there. And rather than have extra washing up to do and making life more awkward, we're gonna throw the vegetables into the pot and then we've got a meal ready to go and only one pot to clean. Tin foil we can either reuse or throw away. So there we have it, essentially a basic Sunday dinner. Let's crack on. That's amazing. <laughs> this is definitely one of the best ideas I've ever come up with. So that was absolutely delicious. I'm just about to crack on with my dessert and then I need to pack away because it's almost midday and I never stay in a campsite this long, but I've been wanting to do this place for so long. It's just uh, one of those places I wanted to sit and enjoy. So let's get packed away and I'll see you next time.